Welcome to Kingdoms TV, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Here at the Diamond Commander League, we are playing traditional commander with a twist. We can earn Highlander points by winning games and by accomplishing achievements. These Highlander points or HP can be used in game or traded in for prizes. Today's episode is a double header and our season finale. We have John M playing Zexara the Exemplary. John's plan is to use tons of spells with X in their casting cost to create a horde of Hydras. He has a few infinite combos to close out the game if needed. With Zexara, X might mark the spot, but that spot is your grave. John's starting hand includes Condescend, Wildwood Scourge, Guardian Project, Botanical Sanctum, Command Tower, an Island, and a Swamp. We have Jason playing Jaleva, Nefalius Scourge. Jason's plan is to cast Jaleva and attack with her as soon as possible to cheat in huge spells for free. If he gets lucky, his opponents will have some good spells, but he doesn't need them with all the extra turn spells and other powerful spells he runs. Jaleva's eyes are never bigger than her stomach. Jason's starting hand includes Swiftfoot Boots, Sword of the Animist, Talisman of Creativity, Exotic Orchard, an Island, a Swamp, and a Mountain. We have Carlos playing Snapdax Apex of the Hunt. Carlos's plan is to play any and all of the Mardu Infect creatures so that Snapdax can eat them up and gain Infect. Once Snapdax has Infect, all he needs is another two power, ideally from a sword, and Infect will do the rest. He is the Apex Predator, even to Phyrexians. Carlos's starting hand includes Path to Exile, Arcane Signet, Black Cleave Goblin, Hand to the Praetors, Clifftop Retreat, a Swamp, and a Mountain. We have Spencer playing Xyrus the Writhing Storm. Spencer's plan is to play spells that get everyone more cards. However, for every extra card his opponents draw, he gets more and more snakes. Eventually he will overwhelm his opponents or punish them for the excess they've drawn. No secrets from these snakes. Spencer's starting hand includes Goblin Bombardment, Howling Mine, Tidal Barracuda, Mikokoro Center of the Sea, Myriad Landscape, an Island, and a Forest. If you are looking for more awesome Commander games or other nerdy content, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. You won't regret it. And with that, let's jump into game one. Draw for turn, Botanical Sanctum, pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Egg Island, go ahead, Carlos. I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and pass turn. Draw a card, play a myriad landscape, pass the turn. Draw for turn, I will play a swamp, pass. Draw, play this mountain, play a talisman of creativity, and I'll pass turn to Carlos. Draw a card, let's play a swamp. And I'll tap the two for an arcane signet and best turn. Card. Play Temple of Epiphany and Scry One. Leave that on top. I, I didn't. Turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait a little longer. Pass. Untap. Keep draw. You know, we came here to do two things lose life and commander games, right? <laughs> okay. Exotic <laughs> Orchard makes black. Thank you, uh, John. Okay, that's my commander. Ooh. Everyone, yeah, let's no, exile cool. four cards. Top of our libraries. If you get any instants and sorceries, that's what matters. But wow, I just got combo it. pieces and I got a spell season. twine. So that's Can't that's the only believe. real hit. I'm gonna put it up here, if you guys don't mind. I'll pass the turn after that. I will draw for turn. I'll play a clifftop retreat untapped because I have a mountain. Let's go ahead and cast Hand of the Praetors. It buffs all your infect guys, and what's the other text? Whenever I cast an infect creature, a target player gets a poison counter. <laughs> oh, okay. That's nice. fine. Oh, man. That's crazy. And nothing bad. I'll pass the it's turn. probably nothing. Drop a turn, and I'll play Nico Koro Center Passi, and I'll pass the turn. Drop a turn, play Command Tower for this turn, cast Zixara for the first time, we'll see how long that stays. Pass turn. I'll play the Foreboding Ruins, and I will reveal a Swamp, so it enters the battlefield untapped, and I'll play Sword of the Animist, attempt to equip Sword on my commander. And then I'm gonna attack Carlos for two in the air. Kaka. Take it. Attack trigger. I'm gonna get a, an island. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'm gonna use my myriad landscape to get two mountains. All right, I will play uh, Black Cleave Goblin. 2 1 haste goblin with infect. And Jason, you're gonna get a counter over there. Just one from cast, and then six on attack. 
So that would put me at seven point infect. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yep. Yeah, take it. All right, I'm done. Draw for turn. Island. You should Play. hug Carlos really Title par Barracuda. Not Any player may cast spells though they had flash. Your opponents can't cast spells during your turn. And then I will pass the turn. I'm not really made for an infect deck, I'm going to be honest. It just feels wrong. <laughs> Cast Guardian Project. I will okay. pass. Untap. I was going to play a land, but it got exiled. Swamp. I'm going to sack Carlos in the air for two flying commander damage. Take it. And I'll get a land. Mountain. Comes to play tapped. And I'll spend an HP to make a black mana. And I'm going to cast Decree of Pain, so I don't die. We're going to destroy Impressive. all creatures that cannot be regenerated. I'm going to draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. Five was our total? No. I, sorry. I'll tap this for two. I'll condescend. Woo! Jonathan! John! Otherwise, John! <laughs> but yeah, now I die. You get a scry two for that. I'll pass turn. <laughs> I'll draw a card. Yeah, now I'm in a really hard position, John. Oh, wow. It, killing... Jason, this early she feels bad. He's if I right. don't, He's though, totally right. like spell twine for decree, though, right? Like, yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah one hundred percent like, will. Like I, I feel trapped. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna play a bloodstained mire. If only snapbacks could be meaningful some other way. Declare the attack with these two. I'm gonna send this hand of praetor at John and this goblin at Jason. I'll die. Okay, okay. I am done. Draw for turn. Play Reliquary Tower. I am going to cast my commander now. Pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. Play a forest for turn. I'll pass. And a turn. Let's play a turn. Sack the Bloodstained Mire. Lose a life. Let's get a Zavai Triome. I'm going to cast Snapdax. Attempt to mutate it on the Black Cleave Goblin. I will cast Gasa's Intervention. It's countered unless you pay twice of X, and X is three. So you have to pay six. Countered. Then I will untap, draw the card, path to exile Zaxara. I'll tap him for two, and then I'll cast Wildwood Surge. Scourge. I'm just going to pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. I will play Impact Tremors. <laughs> so I'm going to swing at you, John, for three. And when he does damage to you, you and... I both draw that many cards. And then when you draw cards, except for the first one on each of your turns, I get a snake for each one. And then Impact Tremors does three damage to each opponent. Play Orin Reef, the Vast Wood. I'll cast Teferi's Puzzle Box. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I don't even feel bad about getting nuked that early. Uh, yeah, I will pass the turn after that. Draw for turn. How many okay, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more snakes and, and eight, eight more damage. damage. Play an island for turn. I'll pass. I'll attempt to cast Stoneforge Mystic. So I can try and get the sort of sinew and steel, John, which is pro black, <laughs> pro red, but that allows uh -huh. me to kill an artifact, which I could kill as Teferi's puzzle box. But the only way is if you let the creature through. What I can do is put it on the Stoneforge instead of the infect creature. Yeah, that's fair. I'll go for that. Okay. Get the sort of sinew and steel. I'll also cast Razor Swine at the end of turn. So it's a 2-1 first strike infect creature. Spencer, I'll give you a poison from the tr the hand of Raider's trigger. I'm gonna cast the sword of sinew and steel, and then I draw this card, and then I pitch these three to the bottom. And I get three more snakes. And draw three, and we take three. I'll play a talisman of indulgence. Equip the stoneforge. I give her three, just regular damage, John. And I'll destroy the puzzle box. Play the blood crypt tapped, and I'll pass. Okay, end step really quick. I'll cast Soul and I'll also cast Rhystic Study. I'll cast Hungering Hydra as a 3-3. Three, three. He comes in, so greater good triggers, and I'll draw a card. He gets a dude and we take a damage. I'll draw a card, play a forest, and I'll cast Force Fruition, and I'm not paying the tax. <laughs> I'll draw this, you get a snake, and we take another one. I think I'll just send all of these at you, Carlos. I'm 15 on the ground, 3-3 three, 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 here. 3 on the ground. We each so draw 3. 15, so I'm at Second main phase, I'm going to cast Howling Mine. John, you draw that card, and I'm out. Upkeep is over. I will draw for turn. Draw that. I will draw a second one from Howling Mine. So it gives me a snake, and you take one. 
I will cast my first spell, and I will cast Pongify on your commander. You draw seven first, and then I'll get seven snakes, and you'll take seven damage. I will cast Beast Within on your impact tremors. Two black, a green, and an island. I will cast Gaze of Granite. I'll destroy each non-land permanent with converted mana cost one or less. <laughs> I'll move to combat phase. I'll declare attackers. I'll attack you, Spencer, for three. Take it. Take your turn if you'd like. So I'll draw two, cast Cryptolith right. Creatures I control can tap for one of any color. Recast my commander. <laughs> Would you like to pay for risk? Oh, yeah, yeah, true. No, I you will pass. The turn. I will draw for turn. I'll draw for Howling Mine. I get a snake. Hinterland Harbor as my land for the turn. My first spell cast this turn will be recasting Zaxara. Draw seven. Yay, I get go. seven oh. snakes. Seven. Path turn. Okay. And tap and draw. I'll tap all of those for red mana. I'm going to cast Vicious Shadows. Whenever a creature is put into a graveyard from play, you may have Vicious Shadows deal damage to target player equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. And then I have two red <laughs> left, <laughs> and I'm going to cast Goblin Bombardment. <laughs> oh, that's game. Nice job. And I'm going to sacrifice two snakes and do two damage to you from and them, I take, and I take 14. 14 from those. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> For game two, Jason's starting hand includes Portent, Talisman of Creativity, Treasure Map, Factor Fiction, Aminatau's Augury, Smoldering Marsh, and a Mountain. Carlos's starting hand includes Faithless Looting, Boros Signet, Anguished Unmaking, Whispering Spectre, Clifftop Retreat, A Plains, and a Swamp. Spencer's starting hand includes Cryptolith Rite, Thrasios Triton Hero, Throne of the God Pharaoh, Jace's Archivist, Command Tower, a Mountain, and a Forest. John's starting hand includes Simic Ascendancy, Altered Ego, Darkwater Catacombs, Hinterland Harbor, Two Swamps, and a Forest. And with that, let's jump into game two. Draw, then I'm gonna go Smoldering Marsh tapped, and I'll pass the turn. Draw a card, play a Plains, and pass turn. Draw for turn. Play Command Tower. Pass the turn. Drop the turn. Forest. Pass turn. Terrasir <laughs> Island. I'm going to cast Portent, targeting myself. Look at top three cards of target player's library. Put them back in any order. May have that player shuffle their library. And I'll pass the turn. So I draw. Draw for sure. Low poke, bro. Play a Clifftop Retreat. I'm going to cast Faithless Looting. Draw two. Discard a Core Prowler and a Lightning Greaves. Pass turn. Draw for turn, play a forest, and cast Thrasios Triton here. I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. I will play Hinterland Harbor. It's untapped because I control forest. I'll cast Simic Ascendancy. I am done. Untap up, draw, mountain, talisman of creativity, treasure map. Attack Carlos for one. Pass. I'll play a swamp for turn. Play a Boros Signet. A two for Lost Leonin. Pass the turn. Yeah, he's a card. Here just to be eaten by snapbacks. Play Cryptolith right and play Throne of the God Pharaoh. We done. Okay, we all take one. Draw for turn. <laughs> Maybe a swamp for turn. Pass turn. Draw. Right. Cast Jace. Draw three. And then I put two of them back. And then I'll pass the turn to Carlos. Draw a card. We're going with Sword of Fire and Ice. And I'll equip it to my Lost Leonin. Let's uh, hit Spencer for four infect. Then I will draw a card. Kill the 1-1 one, one creature. I'll sack him in response. I'm done. Draw, play Temple of Epiphany, and I'll scry one. That on the bottom. Cast Jace's Archivist. I will More of these snakes. Pass oh, the turn. At I least you guys can cast spells on my turn Zexara. now. I am done. For end of your turn, I'm going to scry with Treasure Map. Draw, Womp. Brainstorm Jace. Exile 4. Oh man, I hate this. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my memory jar. My okay. phrase puzzle In box. Infect creature. Infect creature. Did I whiff land. on all of you guys? Yep. Yeah. Two creatures, two lands. Um, I'll pass the turn. Just draw land deck. Make my life so much easier. Watch out, draw a card. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got the other tainted. Let's play an Orzhov Signet. We're gonna attempt to mutate Snap Dax onto this Lost Leonin trigger a mutate i have 10 infect damage on the board unblockable by oh so john creatures. said is that what you're saying i'm saying someone's dead <laughs> again <laughs> this early uh, game three i do Damn. think i will kill jill yeah, like... though so jill is dead don't oh, take oh, boy infect okay first sword trigger i'll draw a card and deal two damage to the uh two two that you have spencer and then i'll draw a 
hard and deal two damage to Jace. And I'm done. It's not a big deal. That wasn't anything crazy going on there. I just died, that's all. And he killed my commander. Jump and turn. Get my planeswalker. Gotta, gotta try. Uh, I'm gonna scry wild. one. Reveal the top card of my library with the land card put on the battlefield tapped. It's a land. I'm gonna treasure map. You done after that, Spencer? Yes. Little desperation scry. I love it's these desperation one. scries, you guys. I'm just all about it, them. Yeah. I'm gonna have to cyclonic rift your sword. And then I will uh, cast chaos warp on your commander. Rip Skitherix. Ooh, okay. Infect creature. Still okay. What, what is it? Iker Claw Mirror. If he's blocked, he gets plus two, plus two. I'm gonna plus two Jace. Just do it on myself. I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Smoldering Marsh. Play the sword again. I'll equip my Mirror. But yeah, we'll attack Spencer for three Infect. Seven. Drop shoot Jace for two. Pass the turn. Play Myriad Landscape. Pass my commander. And hope somebody draws an extra card. Cast <laughs> Temple Bell. I will That's respond way better. to that. <gasps> English oh. 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 <laughs> Then I'll pass the turn and you guys both take one. Let's draw Play an island. I hope, I hope you have a way to get rid of either his sword or his uh, creature. Yeah, I totally, I totally do. Cast my commander, and Pursuits. we're all going to exile six. Fossil's Blessing and Utter End. Opt and Serum Vision. Rampant Growth. And Arcane Denial. Sweet. And then plus two Jace. Fate seal me. I'm going to crack three treasures for three blue. Tap these guys for whatever and cast Karn's Temporal Sundering. So I'm going to take an extra turn. A return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. That's going to be a Sword of Fire Nice. Pass the turn to myself. Carlos. Let's top card your library. Put that on the top. Sack. Carlos. Um, and I'm going to cast uh, Utter End on your mirror. Post combat. And I'm going to cast Fact or Fiction. Separate Threats these into gone. two piles. Command Tower, Island, Mountain. Ignite the Future and Ley Line of Anticipation. Okay, well, I'm just going to do the two basics with the Ignite. Pile and one. The Command Tower with the Ley Line. Pile two. I'll take these. These will go to my yard, and I'm going to cast Walk the Aeons, targeting myself. Target player is going to get an extra turn. Oh Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to cast Ignite the Future. Exile, top three. And I'm going to cast Swarm Intelligence. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I may copy that spell. Well, plus two Jace. And Spencer, top card of your library. Okay. Go. Oh, Put that on bottom. In interesting card or something. I'm going to attack... Carlos for one, and I'm going to cast Rampant Growth twice, and I'll get a Swamp and an Island. Then I will pass the turn. I'll cast a Whispering Spectre. I'll cast Reaper of Shieldred, and that's my turn. End of your turn. Everybody draws a card. What'd you get, John? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <R> Robin, <laughs> Friends teach what you want to know. Enemies teach what you need to know. <laughs> I'll drop can, a turn now. If you can do him 10 damage, uh, or 9 damage, Spencer, I can help with the last one. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. Play Gear Reach Sanitarium. Seaborn no. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I will use Thrasios' ability. Describe one. I'm going to leave it on top so then I reveal it and then draw it anyway. Dictate of Crucifix. Everybody draw a card. Then I'm done. Everybody take a damage. And I oh, untap yeah. on your untap step. Untap up. Keep Chabra. That's uh, plus two Jace. We'll put that on the bottom. I'm going to attack Carlos. And I'm going to cast Serum Visions twice. Draw. Scry two. And then I get to draw. I get scry two. This is post combat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Expropriate. Oh, I'm gonna choose time. I'm gonna respond for, to that by having yeah. everybody draw a card. This is the first card I've drawn this turn. So I'm gonna miracle reforge the soul. So we each discard and draw seven. Uh, Nexus of Fate gets shuffled. Did you get a oh, counter spell, no Spencer? Sadly, I did not. I might have, though. Scry one with Thrasios. In response to your Thrasios trigger, I'm going to drown your Seedborn using the lock. 
So he's dead, huh? And with the second lock, I will drown the Reaper of Sheldred. So I'm choosing time and time. I think he has a Spencer. Do you, do you have anything? Nope. Cool. I'm going to choose time and time. Same. Okay. Time and time. And you want me to, you, Yeah. <laughs> I, so I was going to skull storm after I get rid of all your stuff so you guys lose half your life total twice. I really wanted to win with Epic Struggle Out with just my commander and then wheel and deal everybody at the end of, uh -huh. right before my turn. Dude, that'd be great. <laughs> These were some great games. In the first game, Spencer Snakes came blasting out of the fire hose to strangle us all. The second game, Jason just hinted at so many extra turns and we folded. Well, that is it for our first season of the Diamond Commander League here on Kingdoms TV. Using HP was an experiment for us and there were a number of pros and cons. For season two of the Diamond Commander League, we're gonna keep the achievements, but we'll be doing away with HP for now. Look forward to our first episode of season two in early 2021. If you have a second, we'd love to hear what your favorite episode of this season was and any other feedback about our games. Overall, it's been a really crazy year, but you all being here with us, watching our videos, really has meant the world. We're gonna do something that we're calling story mode that we haven't seen done anywhere else, and I really, really think uh, you'll like it. So please look out for those videos. Thanks again for everything, and we'll see you next time.